on the medical watch playing catch up. Speech and language pathologists say they're now treating children with developmental deficits born from COVID mitigations. From understanding facial cues to reading comprehension, addressing the problems early is critical. We're gonna go over our conversation rules. All right. At Little Steps in Highland Park. Waiting your turn, high five. Weekly speech sessions. Sometimes she has a hard time understanding how to initiate a conversation appropriately. Our listening ears are on. We're listening to what our friends are saying. Mixed with occupational and physical therapy. Two foot to one foot. Yay. One are helping foot. Maranella make strides. Pre-COVID, we did have those issues, and Maranella has been in uh, therapy since she's been two and a half years old. In the last two years. Since the pandemic, we've noticed um, her a little bit um, more delayed. Marinelle has been working on those social language skills. So understanding other people's facial expressions, understanding other people's emotions. We weren't able to experience those normal interactions with kids and we weren't able to problem solve. We were on screens or we were just isolated. So that just caused a big delay and I think from our little ones all the way up in, until high school. In a large ongoing study of child neurodevelopment, researchers at Brown University and Rhode Island Hospital found children born during the pandemic have significantly reduced verbal, motor, and overall cognitive performance compared to children born pre-pandemic. Every age is kind of affected in their own way. In babies, it might be establishing eye contact, joint attention, play skills, or speaking first words. For preschool and school-aged children, articulation or speech sounds and expressive and receptive language skills may be impacted, including reading comprehension or the ability to express wants and needs. Older kids may experience deficits in social language skills. It's our ability to like have conversations, understand people's facial expressions, understand others' point of views. You just can't read what your friend's feeling. You know, your friend doesn't want to play right now. You know, maybe she's, you just can't read what your friend's facial expressions are when you can't see their, their mouth. While masks can hinder facial cues, speech therapist Paige Cianciola says isolation plays a critical role. We pick up so much from people's facial expressions, um, even our body language too. So I think the pandemic played a big role in that for her. How are we feeling right now? Now, the six-year-old is learning to express herself before frustration sets in. It's not something to be embarrassed about. Aww. I love you too. When you see it, um, prior to a pandemic and then you know you have a pandemic and and you see that regression um, you kind of say you know what we really need to help her through it clinicians with the American speech language hearing Association say reasons for the lag in development are likely multifaceted and they encourage concerned parents to seek an evaluation from a local early intervention program or school we have some resources on our website wgntv.com